Good morning, Namibia. It is Thursday, the 3rd of August, 2023. Good morning to you. Thank you for joining us. Now, the goals commonly referred to as the Namibian philosophy of education are access, equity, quality, and democracy. It is with this background that organizations such as NANSO are established to advocate for better, affordable, and quality education in the country. The Regional Executive Committee of NANSO in Kabango East are working on an access to education campaign uh, region-wide. And joining me telephonically with more details on this campaign is Kazingile Joseph, who is NANSO's Kabango East Regional Education Training and Research Officer based at the Rundu Campus SRC, as well as SRC Vice President. Uh, Kazangile, very good morning. Thank you for joining us this morning. Good morning to you to say. How are you doing? How's uh, Rundu this morning? Uh, Rundu is quite well. The, the weather here is uh, quite all right. And uh, how are you doing that type of thing? Fantastic. No, Windhoek is uh, getting warmer as well. I think we are slowly but surely getting out of the winter season. Thank you for joining okay. us. We truly appreciate it. Just talking about NANSO, you form part of NANSO, which is really a countrywide um, organization. Talk to us about, you know, the presence of NANSO in the Kavango East region specifically, and just, you know, how well are you guys doing over there? Uh, uh, thank you so much. Uh, I think first thing I must mention is that uh, NANSO is the only legitimate student organization uh, found in 1984 has been doing quite well since uh, its inception, and uh, it's still doing well uh, up to now. And uh, in Kavango East region, it's uh, really no difference. We are doing exceptionally well. We are delivering as per our mandate and uh, what we are required to do to ensure that uh, a Namibian child is uh, being educated, a child in the Kavango East region is being educated. Uh, we are ensuring that we are engaging all relevant stakeholders in the education sector, the parents, teachers, and uh, the ministry at large to ensure that uh, there are better programs that have been brought up to ensure that mm -hmm. the Namibian child and the child in the Kavango East region yeah. is getting the, uh, the, the education that they need. So in the region, we are doing quite well. Fantastic. When we talk mm -hmm. about this campaign, uh, which really speaks to access to education, uh, we obviously know that, you know, while Namibia has done fairly well in, pro in the provision of education, you know, to, to the Namibian child, uh, we know that there are still those, those struggling and perhaps those hurdles that, you know, prevent children from fully accessing and enjoying education. Um, from where you sit, how would you describe um, access to education in the Kavango East region? Um, I would, uh, at this point in time, describe the access to education uh, following the campaign that we have done so far, mm -hmm. uh, we've been going on the ground to find out as to how is how accessible is education to a, a child in the Kavango East region. Yeah. So from where I stand, uh, there are many different efforts being put in to ensure that uh, education is really accessible to a child in the Kavango East region. But however. There are some uh, limiting factors which are making it uh, a little bit difficult for these learners to access education uh, following uh, these uh, visits that we've done to schools. You can still go and find out that uh, there are still uh, learners that have been taught in uh, temporary structures mm -hmm. for over a year now. And uh, you find out from a school there are no further plans to build permanent structures which are conducive for them to learn in. You go at others, uh, you find classes that are completely overcrowded, yeah. 90 learners uh, in a classroom, for example, at uh, a school like Gamma Combined School, where you are getting 90 learners in one classroom. Yeah. No teacher-to-learner ratio at all, making it very, very difficult. Although they are able to access classroom, mm -hmm. however, the quality is compromised. Therefore, there are these uh, limiting factors that are making it hard for a, a Kavango child to, to access the quality education that they need. However, there are those uh, that are uh, able and trying in the, to access education. Learners have been identified, those ones that are in streets, uh, to ensure that they are also being enrolled at uh, schools. So they are able to access education. However, the quality is not yeah. really uh, what we expect. Exactly. Because that's, that's another question. You know, it's one thing to access education, but what, what quality of education are you accessing? Uh, thank you very much for that uh, comprehensive overview, Cousin Gile. Uh, just looking at this yeah. particular campaign that NANSO is, of course, pushing, uh, 
What, how does this campaign look to address some of those very issues that you just highlighted here? Yeah, uh, thank you again. Uh, this campaign really is a very significant uh, campaign which the National Executive Committee have rolled out and uh, which we as a region are taking uh, really serious. Mm -hmm. uh, so during this campaign and uh, following the observations that we are making, uh, we have already started engaging the directorate. We have engaged the Office of the Education Director in the Kavango region. We are engaging principals at uh, different schools that they are visiting. And all these problems that we are getting are affected from the learners or from our own observations. We are tabling them with the principals to ensure that we are looking into possible ways. If there are problems that can be resolved there and there, look into finding ways as to how we are resolving them there and there. Yeah. And those ones that we are unable to resolve at that moment, for example, temporary structures, structures that are in poor conditions, pollution facilities which are not working, we ensure that uh, we are bringing them under the school's attention and what they are unable to resolve by the end of the campaign, we need to come up with a comprehensive uh, detailed report which we need to provide to the directorate and see to it that uh, it's been worked on so that we ensure that uh, we are fulfilling our mandate uh, and also to ensure that learners are not only accessing education but they are accessing quality education. Very much indeed. Uh, Zangile, before we let you go this morning, uh, any parting words from you and what other activities um, is none so busy with um, in that particular part of the country? Uh, thank you so much again. Um, Nanso is pushing uh, really a lot of activities uh, to address uh, uh, situations or problems that we are experiencing in the, uh, in, 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 in the region. So part of those activities include the access to education campaign, which is already ongoing and uh, which will still go on uh, until the end of the year. We are trying to look into how we can address uh, matters regarding financial literacy. We are trying to organize different programs. We are organizing programs that uh, can improve learners, students, and trainees' uh, thinking capacities in terms of them challenging themselves. Uh, through debate and all those other different activities, really just to uh, under, uh, to, uh, to address the problems that we are experiencing in the region. Mm -hmm. We want to ensure that um, the learners, trainees, and students all feel that uh, they have uh, they are right and they are still uh, protected whenever they are going to schools and they don't feel intimidated. We want to also try uh, by all means to educate them mm -hmm. so that uh, they understand that education is their right, and no one can take it away from them. And um, in my parting words uh, this morning, I would really just want to hear uh, words of encouragement with the parents that have sent their children to school, that um, these uh, kids are, will really not be able to make it uh, successfully in education on their own. Yeah. They need all the necessary support that they can get, uh, especially... Uh, emotional support because uh, they are going through a lot Absolutely. and uh, if we are not giving them the support that they need they are going to end up associating with wrong people and they are going to end up making wrong decisions that are going to affect them in the long run and as a parent you might not understand as to what really is going on yeah. but it's because you have been absent in this uh, kid's uh, educational life and yes. also to encourage uh, that uh, we must keep away our learners away from streets there's really no much education that's taking place in the street. So if we keep them away from that and ensure that they are making all the relevant time that uh, they have and making use of it in order for them to prepare, then we are going to improve the lives of the Kavango child. Kazangila Joseph, thank you for joining us this morning. All the best uh, to you and the work that you're doing there. Uh, keep it up here. Thank you so much. There you have it, Kazagile Joseph. He is Nansos Kavango East Regional Education Training and Research Officer talking to us this morning about a campaign that they are running in that particular part of the country looking to, of course, uh, amplify uh, that is access to education for each and every child in the region to ensure that each and every child does have access to education, but not just education, but quality education. To stay with us. This is a